Hello, this is Leonard Marini from Local Hero Post doing another scratch tutorial. And in this one, we're going to just look at some very basic beauty work uh, being done here within Scratch as part of the grade. Um, again, this is going to be very basic. Uh, you may want to go very extreme. We've done some anti-aging type effects or, or aging effects all in Scratch. But this is what you might find yourself doing in a basic, uh, basic grade. Uh, so here we have uh, a shot from a film uh, shot by Chapin Hall called Serena Song. Shot on the MX Red with anamorphic lenses. Uh, looks very good. Let's just do a very simple grade on this. A little bit warmer. Okay, let's say we're happy with that. Let's go a little bit more extreme just uh, to show an example of beauty work. All right, so let's say we're happy with that. Now the director really needs to, she already looks great, but the director really needs her to be completely angelic and perfect. Uh, maybe it's a dream sequence. Maybe she's supposed to be 10 years younger than she is. So she's got just, you know, your average amount of, uh, of little skin bumps and defects and a little bit of freckles. So we're just going to do very basic beauty work on her. I'm going to call this face mask. Okay, I'm going to pull a uh, just a simple key on the skin. Okay, I'm going to refine my key. All right, uh, that's really the area that I want. So now I'm going to use some matte blur, make this a nice soft mask. There we go. I'm going to go into texture and I'm just going to soften this. Now this is going to look very extreme at first because we have the opacity up at 100%. So what that's doing, just you can see it here as we turn the uh, softness up and down, is really smoothing that skin out right there. So that's pretty smooth. That's about as smooth as I would want it. And now after the fact, we can actually go and increase the area of the key. to have more effect because we're just liking it so much. It's not getting the hair, it's not getting the lips, not getting the eyes. It's getting our buddy in the back there, but we can do something about that later. Yeah, it's getting everything that we want. So this is very nice and, and pearly smooth, maybe too much, maybe too effective. So what I'll do now is just dial the opacity up and down to taste. So I'll find that sweet spot where it's having an effect, but it's not overwhelming. I think that's about it from here to here, from here to here. Yeah, it's doing exactly what we want it to do. Let's look at a close up of the forehead here, from here to here. Now at full size, it's only gonna have a very subtle minimal effect, but she does look a little bit cleaner from here to here, okay? And of course, it's gonna follow her around over the course of the shot. Now, in this case, it's having a good effect on anybody else that it's grabbing, but let's just see what it's doing. Okay, so it's grabbing our secondary character as well pretty heavily, and a little bit of the dad's face here. So what we'll do here after the fact is just throw this into a very simple garbage mat, and uh, I guess we'll track it to her face. So I'm going to go to Canvas and uh, throw her into a very simple shape. It's just going to restrict it to her and a little bit of what's around her. Soften it, track it. Let's use the eyebrow. Okay, it's getting a nice track on the eyebrow. And let's see what it did to our shape. Yeah, it did a great job of, of keeping our shape uh, in place. Just going to extend this a little bit after the fact. Uh, just make sure that we're covering her at all times. Great. Now it's getting a little bit of the guy in the background, but it doesn't matter. He's out of focus. You're never going to notice. Okay, so that is a little bit of basic beauty work, all in scratch, in real time, at full res. Let's take a close-up look at her to see what effect it had. Very nice. Okay, thank you for watching.